Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2024-09, including Maven, Web and General Improvements. Improvements that have been added since the last release in June, three months ago. Support for the upcoming Java 23, which will be released one week after this Eclipse release, is not yet built in. But the preview can probably be soon installed via the Eclipse Marketplace. Support for Java versions older than 8 has been dropped. From Eclipse 2024 or 9 onwards, the Eclipse IDE will no longer be able to generate bytecode that is compliant to Java 7 and below. To update an older project to Java 8, go to Project, Properties, Java Build Path, to the Libraries tab, select the System Library node, hit Edit, and select Java SE 1.8 Execution Environment. Alternatively, you can stick with the older system library and, in the project properties for the Java compiler, set the compiler compliance level to 1.8. But if you are already using Java 8 VM to run your code, it makes more sense to completely update your project to Java 8, doesn't it? There are two nice improvements for text-based editors. In the text editors, the Find and Replace dialog became an overlay in the upper right corner, which provides the same functionality as the former dialog but takes up less space. Hit Ctrl F to open it. The options are shown as small icons to the right of the input field. Hover them to get their meaning and their shortcuts. For replacing, expand the overlay by hitting Ctrl R or the button to the left. Hit Escape to close the overlay again. You can switch to the former dialog or move the Find Replace overlay to the bottom in the Preferences, General, Editors, Text Editors by disabling the checkbox Use Find Replace Overlay or by additionally ticking Display Find Replace Overlay at bottom of Editor. The second nice text editor improvement is Sticky Scrolling, which is disabled by default. When enabled, it helps you to keep track of a nested structure by pinning the lines that are indented less at the top. Sticky scrolling is based solely on indentation, so it works with all kinds of languages and formats, and even for plain text, as you can see here. On the other hand, this might also lead to the wrong lines being pinned, for example a commented outline of code which is not indented. Two existing cleanup functions have been improved to cover more cases. In source, cleanup. In the cleanups dialog, in the tab code style, the convert if else if else chain with three blocks min to switch works now also for strings and for enums. And in the Java features tab, Java 15, the convert string concatenation to text block with the option include string buffer or string builder concatenations will now also be applied even without a final to string call on the string buffer string builder object. When debugging, the inspect pop-up can now be pinned. With that, you can compare the same expression or similar expressions from different applications, from different launches, from different threads, or, as you can see here, at different times. The new ability to pin inspect pop-ups is a general improvement also available for languages other than Java. Speaking of general platform improvements, 
you may want to take a look for yourself at the modernized light theme that is currently being worked on. It can be enabled in the preferences, general, appearance, by switching to the light preview theme. There have also been minor changes to the default light theme. For example, the colored line that indicates an active editor or active view has become slightly thinner. That looks better, doesn't it? Maven tooling has been improved as well. When the new JUnit or TestNG launch configurations are created, the Maven Surefire plugin configuration will now be considered. Environment variables, which can be found in the launch configuration in the Environment tab. System property variables for one or more Java properties. The enable assertions flag, which is by default true, can be set to false. Outline, which are passed to the launch configuration as VM arguments. And the working directory used when running the tests. After editing the Maven Surefire configuration, you need to manually run Maven Update Project in order to update your existing JUnit or TestNG launch configurations. And by the way, the embedded Maven has been updated from 3.9.7 to the latest version 3.9.9. Support for the latest web technologies is built into the Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers, which in other IDE packages can also be obtained by installing Eclipse Wild Web Developer. As done here. TypeScript is supported up to version 5.5 now. The JavaScript and TypeScript tooling is based on the same language server that has been improved as well. For example, in TypeScript, control flow analysis narrows down the type of something that is referenced by a key, if both the object and the key are effectively constant. This avoids showing an error where there is none. This also applies to JavaScript. And last but not least, syntax checking for regular expressions in JavaScript. As well as in TypeScript. That's cool, isn't it? These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release September 2024. Thanks for watching and happy coding!